Hello everyone, this is Umbra J, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be talking about the Loza's Sherman. This was the uh, tank you were able to get not too long ago by getting the different mastery badges of the different levels in the battles. Uh, it lasted about 10 days or so. But we're going to be talking about this tank and also giving you a review and a little bit of some live gameplay. So, uh, before we get off onto the gameplay, we're going to look at the upgrades and also what equipment I would suggest to use. So, characteristics. Uh, the health is very, very poor. Only 920 whenever you're not using the uh, increased health booster, and 975, as you can see here, whenever you are using it. The armor, only 63 millimeters, not great. You can get occasional troll bounces, but you definitely cannot rely on that armor. Uh, Annihilators and Smashers will be able to absolutely shred you. Uh, it has a decent view range, 284 meters. You can do a little bit of spotting. Uh, and also, it doesn't have great camouflage rating, but it's a medium tank, so that's not a big deal. Um, damage per minute. It's got 2,000 DPM, which is not bad. Uh, 4.8 reload time, which is comparable to the STRV-74. But the really big letdown on this tank is that penetration. Only 128 with the standard armor piercing and 177 with APCR. You're not going to be able to go through much. And the high explosive only penetrates 20 millimeters. So it's unless you're going for like a toaster or a Nashorn or a Hellcat, there's not much you're going to be able to penetrate with that HE. Uh, your average damage is 160, which is, again, not bad, but with how low the penetration is, it does feel a little bit limiting. But the very best thing about this tank is easily the aiming time and accuracy on the move. The dispersion, 0.29. Absolutely fantastic for a tier 6 tank. Uh, it's, I, think, I don't even think that many TDs at tier 6 have that kind of accuracy. The accuracy on the move, dispersion values, aim time, it's comparable to the Panther and is actually a bit better than the Panther 1 at tier 7. Uh, so it does have that really nice accuracy. Top speed, 48, and it has a power to weight ratio of 16.1, so you're not exactly going to be getting up to speed anytime soon, which is another somewhat limiting thing on this tank. The turret turns at 51 degrees a second, so that is very nice, and it does have a 50 degree hull turn rate as well and a decent uh, engine. As for equipment, definitely want to go for that gun rammer, want to boost up your DPM as much. If you want to use the calibrated shells, you might, but I personally definitely suggest the gun rammer. Uh, also, enhanced gun laying drive to min-max that uh, accuracy on the move, but if you're going to play this more as a bit of a sniper, then this supercharge may be effective. Uh, and then vertical stabilizers, definitely want to run the vertical stabilizers. The accuracy is already really nice uh, at 0.29. If you wanted, again, if you were going to, for a more sniping role, then I would possibly suggest refined gun, but I personally prefer to use that vertical stabilizers, making it much more accurate on the move. Finally, you want improved optics. Uh, definitely suggest the improved modules. That way you're going to have 10% less damage from those high explosive shells from KV-2s and Smashers because they will be able to penetrate you very easily. Finally, ex engine, accelerator, and the improved assembly because you need as much health as you can get. So now we're going to be taking a look at some live gameplay of this tank, talking about how to play it, uh, what you need to do, and etc, etc. So my first thoughts when I got this tank was... Oh my word, how accurate is this gun? Uh, and in my first four battles, I had two marvelous Mastery Class badges, over 3,000 damage, and I really, really wanted to love this tank. I can't. For me, it feels limited, and I don't quite feel that I am able to perform as well as I can in something like the STRV-74, which I absolutely adore. It doesn't have the turret armor uh, that the STRV-74, 10 degrees of gun impression is really nice, but again, it's it just feels limited to me. As you can see, we are able to get up to a decent speed, but it does take a little bit, and the terrain resistances aren't very great because it has such skinny tracks. Uh, looks like my team are going to base A. I better go over there. You have to play this tank as a support vehicle. Uh, kind of as a sniper, almost. 
I have found I do best whenever I can get up into a position where nobody on the enemy team is shooting at me, and I'm able to just sit there and absolutely farm. But granted, that's, it kind of goes for any tank whenever you're able to do that. Uh, but I definitely win most of my games playing a support role. You cannot go front line. And that's really painful for me, because I like to go front line, and I'm so busy talking that I'm kind of going front line. Uh, but I like to go front line, I like to influence my games, and it's very, very difficult to influence any games in the Loza Sherman. Because the really only stand, uh, the thing that stands out is that amazing accuracy. So, uh, I, saw, I was able to get a shot on the AMX. Let me see if I can poke him out. Nope, not quite. And I want to pull back because there is a Vindicator sitting there looking. So, I don't want to poke out until I know my camo has reset and they are no longer looking at me. Uh, of course, with that massive bulldozer over there with the big pumpkin launcher, it's kind of difficult to tell where he's looking. I'm going to poke out here and see if we can't get an APCR around to his top. Nope, not quite. So, let's see. Hopefully, we can get one to the vision slit. Ah, uh, yeah. I did manage to get around into the vision slit, but it looks like their KV-2 is sitting back there playing the role of sniper. So I'm going to definitely not sit down there in the death alley, and I'm going to try to get around behind the enemy team and do a little bit of damage. So that is definitely one of the things that does limit this tank, is I would do more flanking maneuvers, but you are simply not maneuverable enough. And that really does make it very challenging. So we'll see this KV-2 here. Okay, he's behind the wall. I'm just going to keep moving along here. But the 4.8 uh, second reload is really nice. Uh, you can pump, just absolutely shred these stock tanks, like this stock VK-30. Uh, I'm probably going to end up dying here. Let's put on our adrenaline and hope. I'm just going to I'm gonna chase him down. They only have one medium tank, and it's this guy here. He's spotting for their team. Their KV-2 is distracted. Their Vindicator is distracted. He's probably going to go capture base C here. Okay, we do get a bounce from him. Uh, so as you can see, our armor is very troll, and we got this very nice accuracy on the move, almost able to land every single shot on him. Uh, feel bad for this poor stock guy, but we do have to take him out because he is the vision for the enemy team. So hopefully I can take him out without taking any damage myself. Okay, that's a little risky. And I got stuck on the stupid rock. Okay, I should be able to take him out. There we go. So now... Yeah, not looking very good. It's a two on two. I am way out of position. Our Emil is all the way over there. He's about to die. I guess I could have stayed with the team. Uh, I need to find this KV-2 and take him out. Hopefully I don't get absolutely destroyed there. So hopefully... Oh, my mill has got the stock gun too. This is, this is a marvelous situation. Oh, hello, Mr. KV-2. Uh... This is, this is not good. Okay, I'm going to come around and see if I can't do some flaking. Hopefully my Emil will be able to do a little bit. Hello, KV-2. Okay, we put down to a one-shot. I should be able to take this to KV-2 out of the game now. He knows where I'm going. I'm just going to reset my camo and see if I can't come around behind him. Alright, so... I don't enjoy this tank. I really don't. Uh, my first few games, I wanted to love this tank. I cannot find myself enjoying it. Uh, it's just not, it's it's too dependent on the team for my liking. So, yeah, definitely not something I would like. Buy KV-2. Let's get around here. Hopefully the AMX does not decide to shoot me. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We can win this. Buy AMX. Put the adrenaline on and good game. Okay, uh... So that's one game in the Loza Sherman. Managed to come around. It's a good thing we took out that VK-30D. He may have been a nuisance later. Only managed to get a second class with 800 XP. And we didn't do very much damage either. Uh, which is another thing about this tank. That low alpha, it's very, very difficult to get that damage out without having to do a lot of shooting. So you really have to think about where you're going to go on the map. Read the lineup and figure out what is the best supporting position that you can go to. So, uh, on this map here, I am probably going to push up onto this hill right here, do a little bit of spotting. I can use my gun depression, and hopefully I'll be able to hit some of these tanks from above and not get shot. Uh, so let's go to base C, where I could possibly go to my right. I'm going to go to the right. I do not want the KV-2 to be sitting at base B, see me drive up onto the hill, and then 
hit me in the side with some HE. I do not want to risk that. So I'm going to push up to this hill right here. And I'm going to see if I can do a little bit of spotting. Okay, well, I'm not going to be able to do any spotting now. Uh, but I will be coming around the corner, resetting the cap with this P43. And now I'm going to pull back because I'm spotted and I do not want to take any damage. Okay, so I'm definitely, uh, as you can see here, I am more frontline than you need to be in this tank, but at the same time, I am bottom tier. If you're at tier 7s, if, if you're the bottom tier, I should say, not fighting tier 5s, like fighting tier 6s or 7s, I'm completely lost right now. If you are fighting tier 7 tanks and you are the bottom tier in this tank, ooh, that was a nice shot there. Uh, is he going to burn up? Is he going to burn up? Yes, he is. Uh, you have to be a supporting role if you're the bottom tier. However, if you're top tier like this, you can go a little more aggressively. Uh, as you can see here, we've able, been able to mop up these guys with our nice DPM. There's a KV-2 coming around there. Uh, but you really just can't do much whenever you're fighting those annihilators because your 128mm penetration is just not enough. But as you can see, that very nice accuracy there, we were able to get that nice snapshot onto the KV-2, easily hitting the weak spot on his turret. Uh, I'm not going to be able to take him out, neither am I going to take out the Matilda BP. So we're just going to drop down here, and I'm going to come along over here and see if I can't get a shot on the KV-1S. Uh, but yeah, you definitely have to make the most use out of your amazing... Oh, 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 oh I'm not taking... I'm not going to risk that. Out of your amazing, uh, guns. Or, your gun's not amazing, but I mean, the accuracy is amazing. So you have to make the most of that. Okay, so we managed to bait the SE-100Y there. I'm gonna come around over here to this KV-1S. I don't want to risk trying to completely miss that shot there. So now that the SE-100Y is not looking at me... I'm going to rush this KV-1S. I do have to be careful uh, because it did have that buff reload. At the same time, his ammo rack is damaged. So it's going to be reloading a lot slower. I've got the DPM to take him out. Fortunately, my scavenger does. No, nope, not okay. Not quite going to hit that SD-100Y. There is still a toaster tank on the enemy team. And this interests me greatly because I can penetrate him with HE. So I'm just going to get an HE round right there. And now it just leaves that toaster tank. And I'm going to rush him. But yeah, I really, really, really wanted to absolutely love this tank, especially after those first couple of games I had over 3,000 damage on either one in an easy, easy ace. But I had found, I had found myself unable to adore the Lozas, Sherman. Uh, I'm going to have one more game for you guys here today, and then we will, I guess, call it a video. Uh, but so that was a fairly nice game there again supporting our team managed to be bottom tier Which was a very nice matchup did quite a bit of damage as well. I'm going to give that VK 30 a thumbs up uh, But that's how you got to play the Loza Sherman You got to be a support role Sit back and snipe if possible it, It's not easy to play it. Okay, so now we are bottom tier and we are on winter Malinovka so I've got two ways I could play this. I could go over to the heavy side and maybe drive up to the windmill, but that's most likely going to be a death trap. I could push to the middle, or I could go over here and do a little bit of spotting. Uh, we've got a bunch of tanks that are even better for that for that role, but I'm going to do that. I'm going to push over here, do a little bit of spotting, see what the enemy team is going to do, and then make up my mind. If it is safe, then I'm going to push up to this hill here and maybe eventually on to base B. If it's not safe, I'm going to run around and see if I can't get over to base B and do a little bit of side shots into the enemy medium tanks. So I'm pushing up here, trying to spot. My ping is not liking me right now. I do not see anybody, although that doesn't mean anything. Our Leo is not lit up, which means the enemy team is not over here. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to capture the base for a little bit of victory points, I guess. Uh, get a little bit of more experience on this. Okay, we don't quite have a shot. My ping is absolutely fantastic uh i'm gonna push up to this bush right here and see if i can get any shots into these enemy t uh enemy tanks okay so here we are there's the annihilator get a nice round into him and here's where you can see that fantastic accuracy uh playing such a crucial role in this tank uh play style i guess okay so we're spotted nobody's looking at us right now it's gonna put on the adrenaline maybe pump out another 
round that is destined to not hit. Okay, so I'm going to start pushing up here. There went our two heavy tanks, decided to go off on their own, the Tiger 1 and the KV-2. No idea why they would do that, but they did decide to do that. So, right now, it's a 5 versus 7. Uh, we could still win this. But the enemy team do have some very nasty tanks on their team. And I am lagging so badly. Okay, so, uh, I'm gonna pull down here. I don't want to take any shots from some of those tanks. I'm just gonna kind of wiggle back and forth here. Okay, we baited around from the Dicker Max. It's a three versus seven, not again. Okay, I'm gonna go for this ARL. Bounce that shot there. I am alone. I'm going to die. I have no idea what that shot was. Okay, yeah. So as you can see, uh, tier 7, not exactly able to do that much. Especially when you're... I, I guess I could have gone with my heavies, but we still would have lost that anyway. There wasn't much I could do. Uh, not when they had an Annihilator and a Smasher on their team. Yeah, did not go quite so well. But that is all for today, folks. This was the Loza's Sherman. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. Please leave a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below if you did. And be sure to check out some of my other videos as well. This is M4J over and out.